NorCal. Got it, got it. Yeah, I believe he plays Pichu and Snake. So we may see a, a character change in game two yeah, because he should be going to Snake. Right. All right, so Captain Zack coming in right now. Can immediately do the uh, turn and pull, of course, and get a quick combo here out of the grab. We'll see what Captain Zack going to bring to the table. I just saw this matchup last weekend with uh, Boyd versus Santora. Oh, right. <laughs> I mean, I can tell you that Pichu is in for a run for it. <laughs> he mixed him up so hard with that. He was probably expecting a back air or something like that, but instead, Captain Zack coming right off of the fair. And now, good up air string and connect landing with a forward air. Gonna put a good amount of damage onto Captain Zack. Yeah. Scary situation still, though. Being down, losing that stop so fast in under 30 seconds. But Pichu can do the same thing for Pete. He can answer right back, and there it is! Right there! Down tilt into down air, especially at those mid and like higher percent, it's gonna be so easy to confirm. Yeah, yeah, okay, you're extremely correct about that. Great back air right there, trying to swing another forward air, definitely would have caught him off guard taking the stock again. But a back air out of field, gonna be great tool for Pete, and that up smash covers a lot of options that uh, Pichu can use to approach. Ooh, oh my god, able he, to use he the shook agility. him, yeah, he definitely shook him so hard, causing him to do that air dodge and just go right to the bottom of the stage. Okay, scooping him up out of those uh, nares. Now we see some peach combos coming out from Captain Zack. Yeah, do you see how low his floats are? Yeah, the cancels was... are clean too. Yeah, instant float from Captain Zack. We almost saw some uh, some lightning moves come out from Udomo. Oh, and that was God Eyes right there. Trying to come out and do something crazy. But it doesn't matter. Air man. Does connect and oh, messing up the agility angle. Gotta have those angles unlocked, especially as Pikachu. Right. You don't have a hitbox that will actually like help you recover yeah, that's and keep true. people from challenging you. Udomo, I feel like this is a moment to just take a breath, think about the situation, because he definitely just got ran over and was mixed up in a lot of situations, or just SD'd by missing his uh, quick attack. We do see... Okay, so collecting Final Destination and just sticking it out with Pichu. I respect that. You're going to get rid of those platforms. I don't feel like the platforms were really uh, an issue. Right. In the last game, it was really just like the ledge trap and the ledge game that puts me to two players. Yeah. And he, he definitely was getting trapped up. Like, all the times that he, or at least the second time that he, or the first time he has sorry, was uh, due to being shook up by what Captain Zack's pressure was putting on. And wow, trying to go for something real early to catch him. I mean, that definitely would have caught Captain Zack off guard dude. if uh, Mudomo was able to convert off the up air, but the up air did not connect. Now we see. What is this parasol? Yeah, interesting right there. Quickly go into that. He's going to get a punish quite a bit here. 77 and re grab. Oh, going, drop, calling down the thunder, but it's not. Uh, in a position where Captain Zack will be able to get hit by it. Now we see an up throw from Mudomo, looking for what the option was going to be. Alright, finish that back here. Oh, good thing he got to that ledge, because if he had tried to land on the stage, rest in peace, Pichu. And I believe that the, the golf... Um, yeah, the golf club actually hits below the ledge from Pichu, uh, Pichu's f -man. Ooh, okay, so he's very lucky to be out of that situation. Uh, nice side. Armor. Whoa, killing wow. from center stage! I love that mix-up too because you go and hit their shield or you know even tap them slightly They try to dodge out of the way and you just side view right back into them That's right, you see these great strings coming out from uh, Captain oh Jack Another God. early stock with forward air And he took it with it, he keeps catching him off guard for Mudomo man Okay, Mudomo needs to make some type of play We see a thunder but it doesn't connect on a Pichu, he needed that to connect Yeah he did, but if he can just get his feet on the ground and make something happen with that great down smash, okay Slowly working his way back into the situation. Remember, Pichu is such an explosive character. We can see Pichu die in a matter of seconds. Just, just completely have a stock evaporate. Alright, but we see the same thing go the other way, man. This great combo right now, though, racking up 58%. That's right, Lightning Loops coming in play for Mudomo. Getting another back in, and now we see uh, Captain Zack forced to recover. Able to roll from the ledge, but he is escaping those traps. Right. And you see him playing just a little bit slower now, not trying to overcommit to anything or get himself uh, in a situation where he would be disadvantaged because Captain Zack makes quick work of that. That's right. Now it's Ledge Trap going to be going for another back air, but Captain Zack answering with even taunts. Ooh, and he almost caught him with that up smash out of it too. Oh, punishing okay. the spot dodge with an F smash. Okay, and if he can do another one of those combos, he can bring this game back to even. Okay, got the grab out of that nair. Right down tilt onto forward tilt, getting the. Oh, okay, he's gonna go for a downer, but DIing in. Captain Zach keeping himself in the game. Oh my goodness, he's working this so hard. Now, suddenly in the lead. Oh! <laughs> and the drop down, down air from Mudomo. They're gonna answer for that taunt, Zach. You're gonna see the little smirk come through from Zach. He's like, okay, okay, I understand. Taunt a body. Still exists in Smash Ultimate. 
interesting situation that we just saw unfold here. Uh, it looked like Captain Zach was running away with that up three stocks, but slowly but surely Mudomo worked his way back in. Like I said, not over committing to anything so that he would be in a disadvantage state because as soon as he's there, Captain Zach takes that stock. But it really came down to just all the pressure that Mudomo was exerting at the end of game two. He was constantly in Zach's face, not even allowing Zach to really set up for any type of close. But here we go, game three, and now Zach answering right back, putting 40 damage easily on the beach. Right, this is why you don't give up, man. He's able to make this a game three situation, even for since right now. That's gonna be a punish though. Toad getting a couple hits in there. Oh, I love the the pummel animation. Yeah. Of, like the princesses. And Toad like actually comes in like protects the princesses now. Right. Ooh, okay, I like to see that Mudomo is actually making his way back to the stage with these quick attacks. I, I have a little bit of worry for him now after what I've seen him do, but he looks okay now. Yeah, okay, Zach able to escape the ledge with Roll once again, throwing out a lot of back airs, but Mudomo's back air is the one that was next. Ooh, actually catching her. I mean, Peach is a tall girl. She tried to get that side B right to the ledge, but her head probably that ground didn't tip into it. Almost with landing a forward air, almost uh, enough to put Mudomo into the blast zone. Now we're going to see some lightning loops, but escaping the loop. Oh, he dropped down and tried to do the up air into Thunder. And a very smart movement right there from Zach to fade back, knowing that the lightning was coming up next. That's oh. something you have to remember. Good DI from Zach. We saw Mudomo land the up tilt, and you know he was fishing for that up air, that right. down air. Just going to slowly float. Scary spot, man. You keep seeing Mudomo go off the stage and try to catch Zach off guard, but he is aware now. He's ready to counter that. That's right. Mudomo is definitely the wild card in this set. Nice. And Peach Bomber going to come through and take that stock off. Only down by... 60%. And numbers numbers between these two characters are almost meaningless. Exactly, because look at this combo. Never mind, Peach gonna, or Peach is going to break out of that. Okay, back air does connect. Now we find Mudomo using Thunder Toll to cover his approach. Very smart. Oh, and thank goodness for that down air from Zach to keep himself covered. Oh, looking oh. for the roll. In with the, that was a stick Oh, yeah, did you see all that shield damage? That's what it was able to get that uh, shield poke with a dash attack. And now it's there, knocking him off the stage. Timing that perfectly. We see Zach trying to cover ledge with turn. One does work. And now using Thunder Joe to cover his approach once again, but a forward air connects. That's a bomb! What is this RNG What's that Zach do? has? What's he gonna do? Oh, he threw it. Now they're able to connect it in the. They're gonna catch him, man! The uh oh, crowd that's not is electric Absolutely. as both, both players just connect, continuing the blow after blow. This combo starting up right now, man. Okay, I think he hit him there right there. Was actually able to take the stock off. Only 44% down here, but the combo starting right back up from Udomo. Down air into what? Taking the turnip away from Peach as well, but now the turnip is gone. And 87%. Udomo Ooh. has a couple access to an offstage back air. Would definitely take it. Okay, oh my goodness. tried to catch. So smart on Zach to dip low because he saw what happened to his first stock. His crown got tipped into it. Oh, and the wow. run off down there. Wow, wow. That actually connected perfectly. Able to win game two and three with that down air spike. I mean, you can't, you can't be taunting out here, Zach. This is not the stage you taunt. I don't know, man. You, sometimes it feels good. You got to do that. Feel yourself. Bring yourself back into the...